What is up, guys? This is Chris with Leveling Up Your Finances. And again, I had a cold or the beer bug or allergies this week. I don't know, but my throat is thrashed, so I apologize for my voice. But it's my sexy smoker's voice, so I hope you enjoy it. Anyways, let's jump into dividends stocks. I think dividend stocks are great for beginners that want to like diversify into maybe single stocks versus ETFs or people that just want to get like a like a gradual small income build up either quarterly or monthly and dividend stocks are a great way to do that. Again, remember to diversify and be smart with your investments. Definitely research the companies you're looking at, but this is going to be like a basic overview of dividend stocks. Uh, again, a very basic. So if you're more advanced into investing, this might not be the article or the video for you, but this is an M1 finance article. I definitely like, I like the company. They're one of the very first uh, brokerages I used on of like brokerage apps I used on a smartphone. Uh, before that, I had plenty of things on websites, but from your phone, pretty easy to use. So if you want to check them out, uh, my referral links in the description. You don't have to use it, but if you do, I get some so like free stock or money. I don't know. You might get free stocks or money like Robinhood. I don't know how it works, but it's down there. Or you can just go to the website and download it. It's written by Michael. Savino, Savino, Michael S. And it was uh, May 20th. Uh, I'm sure not much has changed since May 20th, depending on when you actually are watching this video. So let's just jump the boring stuff. But what are dividends? Let's start with the definition, right? Dividends are distributions of a company's earning to its shareholders, typically paid out quarterly or on a per share basis. You can think of dividends as your share of a company's profits. Companies can choose to pay out these shares in several ways. Cash dividends are the best one. Cash is the most common type of dividend and is paid out to the investor individual brokerage account. Stock dividends, also pretty good, is uh, distributed additional shares to compensate stockholders rather than paying them a share of earnings. Typically occurs when a company wants to increase the number of shares outstanding or reward investors while maintaining liquidity. So they don't want to give you cash, they're just going to give you more parts of the company, which is fine. I'll take that too, because if you're investing in the, these guys, you probably want to be in the company anyways. Special dividends. Dividends that are, are owed to investors, but they are not paid on a regular basis. A company may issue special dividends when it has excesses, excessive cash that it doesn't immediately need. And then preferred dividends, much like their name, preferred dividends are issued to preferred stock owners. The amount is usually fixed, unlike common stock dividends, and are paid on a quarterly basis. So what are the benefits of dividend stocks? Dividend stocks often provide a steadier source of income than growth stocks, allowing investors to build wealth without selling their shares. So like most stocks, when you just buy it, you want to sell for a profit, right? That appreciated value. And that's the time you get the money. But if you only get it when you sell, right? So dividends, you're not selling your shares. They're still paying you a little bit of money on those shares every quarter or month or whatever it is. So it's like a steady source of income. And in, if the true wealth building power of dividend stocks comes when you're reinvesting your earnings. Like if you put money back into the S&P 500. So if you have an ETF or an index fund that like mirrors the S&P 500, you have all those stocks. The dividend that's paid on that quarterly, you just reinvest it automatically. Uh, preferably automatically that way you don't forget back into the stock and it helps growth uh, and that's the, like the real wealth building power of them uh, research by Morningstar and Hartford funds found that reinvested dividends have generated 84% of the total return of the S&P index since 1960 so say this little, little graph if you did not reinvest your dividends you just spent them on I don't know booze because that's what you guys are into um, you would only have almost $800,000. But if you started investing, you're reinvesting your dividends into the S&P 500 index. Well, this whole time, that is a big gap of time. That's still 61 years. You'd have closer to 5 million. That's a pretty big gym. This is a long time. So you won't have this or this. But anyways, because you guys are going to spend your money. I don't trust you guys. 
Funneling your dividends back into your portfolio through automatic investing allows you to benefit from compound interest so you can continue to profit from dividends long after they are initially paid. Coupling this with dollar cost averaging strategy, if you guys want me to cover dollar cost averaging, it's pretty easy. Basically, you just always buy no matter what, if it's up or down. I can go into more details, but anyways, it's just the average. You just dollar cost average in. It's easier. It's it's pretty easy concept to get. Could potentially lead to millions in additional investment returns over 30 to 40 years. I don't got time to wait for 30 to 40 years. That's why I invest in crypto now. But again, I'm very conservative, so a lot of my money is in stocks, usually ETFs like VU. But I'm not telling you to do that. That's just what I do. Anyways, why do companies pay dividends? Reinvest in its operations. Pay down debt obligations. Distribute the cash to shareholders as dividends. But you got to keep in mind, not all corporations distribute dividends to investors. Many new or rapidly expanding companies opt to reinvest earnings in f uh, further organizational growth. Those are called growth stocks. Weird. <laughs> but more mature, stable corporations with consistent cash flows. Uh, dividends can be a great way to reward and retain shareholders. So yeah, maybe they're not growing as much, but they still earn the profits and they want to give those profits to you so that you can continue to grow even if it's slightly slower than those growth stocks. These are a lot of blue chip companies and all that fun stuff. Uh, well, I mean, they're not fun. They're very boring. That's why I like the fun stuff when I want to gamble. Anyways, investors often view dividend payments as an, an indication of a company's strength and a positive outlook on future earnings. Issuing dividends can increase the demand for stock and bolster the stock price. All right, guys. So these are the different types of dates uh, for dividends. So grab a cup of coffee because it gets quite boring. But we're going to still cover it anyways because we need to. Wow. My coffee tastes like rum. That's super weird. Declaration date. The date a company's board of directors announces an upcoming dividend payment. Ex-dividend date. The first day on which shares bought and sold no longer carry the right to previously announced and yet to be paid dividend. If you own a stock before the market open of the ex-dividend date, you are entitled to the dividend. So on the reverse, if you purchase this dividend stock on or after this day, you won't receive a dividend. Lame. Re record date. A day after X dividend date. Holders of the record. I still don't even know what that means. Oh, look. One of my videos is done downloading. That's super cool. Payment date. This is the day the dividend will be paid to a stock or a fund owner. Like its name. Again, some of this stuff is super dumb and boring. But we are covering the basics because somebody... Might have a question on it. I remember when I was a noob, I didn't know crap about anything. I, honestly, I've been investing for 15 years and I still don't know crap about anything. So there's that. How do dividends work in your M1 finance? Oh, never mind. We're not going to cover this. But basically, if you want to read this crap, I'm going to post the article link in the thing. This is, again, for one uh, M1 finance portfolio. So they're a decent company. They are a little iffy sometimes. I'm not talking smack about them. I still have them for my kids' accounts. Uh, I invest in them weekly for my children. But I like to have a little bit more say over my investments. I've gone back to a more hands-on approach for my stock investing. So I don't really use them as much. I just have to set it and forget it for my kids. Basically, I put money into it weekly for them. Uh, that way, when they're 18 or 21 or, I don't know, 30, and I'm rich as hell, I'll just give them money from it or I'll just pay for their, I don't know, baseball or something. I don't care. Whatever you guys do, do it on your own. That's fun. But my link is down in the description if you want to use my referral. And I'm just rambling on at this point. So at the end of the day, guys, remember to stay awesome and keep loving each other because you know what? I love you in case nobody told you that. I don't know if that's the type of love that you actually want in your life, though.